Production in Plants In this module, you will learn about reproduction in plants. It's evening time and Alicia has come to a garden with her mother. Let's go and join them. This garden is so beautiful. I love these small mango plants around. Alicia is all happy and excited to see so many baby plants around. Have you ever wondered where these small plants come from? Well, they actually come from big trees of the same kind. The plants produce new plants of their own kind. This is known as the reproduction in plants. Most plants such as pomegranate reproduce from seeds. Seeds, as you already know, are present inside the fruits which in turn are developed from flowers. Some other examples of plants that reproduce through seeds are bitter gourd and papaya. Interestingly, there are some plants such as conifers which do not even bear flowers. So, they do not produce fruits and seeds. Some other plants that do not have seeds are ferns, mosses, pines and mushrooms. So, how does reproduction takes place in these plants? These plants produce tiny, powder-like, round bodies called spores. Reproduction in these plants takes place through spores. Spores are present on the lower surface of the leaves. When they fall on the ground, spores give rise to new plants. There are certain plants in which reproduction takes place through their various parts like stem, roots or leaves. Let's first see the reproduction in plants through stem. Some plants like rose grew from stem cuttings. Other examples of plants that grow from stem cuttings are sugarcane, mint, drumstick and tea. There are some other plants like banana that grow from their underground stems. Other examples of such plants include ginger, turmeric and potato. Now let's see the reproduction in plants through roots. A carrot develops from its roots. Other examples of plants that reproduce through roots are sweet potato, beet and radish. Lastly, let's see the reproduction in plants through leaf. In case of bryophyllum, that is the sprout leaf plant, a mature leaf bears buds at its margins. From these buds develop the new plants. Let's recap. Plants reproduce plants of their own kind. This is known as the reproduction in plants. Flowering plants reproduce from seeds. Some plants that do not bear flowers reproduce through tiny, powder-like, round bodies called spores. Reproduction in certain parts also takes place through roots, stem or leaf. 